This bridge has just been um, place shaping and life changing. It's such a beautiful bridge, I believe. What's fantastic about this bridge is that it responds to every single constraint and it does it beautifully in one beautifully crafted object in steel. There had always been a sense that the, the city, a recognition that the city was a divided city. It was a city of two names um, and it was a city of two religions. Uh, it had an east and a west bank as indeed other places in the world do. Um, and there was a real thrust uh, through, through the peace process that something symbolic was important and a bid was made to the peace programme for European funding where we argued that sometimes it's the tangible that help actually underscore what's intangible and it just has gone from strength to strength from the very first day that the people took their bridge to their hearts. Steel was fundamental. I simply don't think the bridge could have been built in any other material. If you had tried to design the bridge in concrete, it would have been far too heavy to support. Timber, I don't think could span. Steel is the only medium in which you could build it. The bridge um, fluidly links two axes which are in the city. On the city side of the bridge we have um, Shipkey Street which is a main thoroughfare up into the walled town of Londonderry. And on the other side there was a strongly defined thoroughfare going through the centre of the Ebrington Parade Ground and the bridge links those two thoroughfares with a, a fluid route. What I love about the bridge is the fact that um, yes it's a piece of architecture, yes it's a very innovative piece of engineering but the two are completely seamlessly integrated. You can't tell where the architecture stops and the engineering begins, it's one perfect object and it could only exist in this location as well because of its relationship to the very specific site constraints that we have here. I think it's beautiful. My great pride is of having been part of the team that built such a beautiful structure. One of the things that we're absolutely thrilled by is that next year in 2013 we are the first ever UK City of Culture and Ebrington now has become a focal point, it's become a part of the city centre. We've already hosted the Peace One Day concert for the opening of the Cultural Olympiad and the Olympic Games and we're absolutely thrilled to do so. And really the Peace Bridge has become the symbol, it's become part of the logo for City of Culture, it's become uh, symbolic and iconic um, so that it's underscoring really all that we're trying to do in terms of transformation. Mm -hmm.